Hey there, Andrew here, Sterilizer Auto Clay Solutions. Uh, we're going to talk about a Bravo 21V right now. Um, where's my tape measure? Lost it. Uh, it's about a 15 and a half inch chamber by nine and a half. It comes with uh, three trays. This is a pre and post vac unit. Um, okay, cool. So let me throw, show you a couple features. Uh, here's the door gasket right here. Very easy to replace. Should be replaced every 500 cycles or six months. Um, we do videos on how to replace that door gasket. Talk you through it real easy. Um, here's also another preventative maintenance part is the air filter. This should also be replaced every 500 cycles or six months. What I'm doing is unscrewing it right now. Um, also another way to tell uh, how many cycles, there is a cycle counter on here. As you can see, we're at 1,271 slash 01277. Um, the cycle on the right is how many cycles have been run. This, is, this one is how many cycles have been run successfully. So this unit has had six failures. Um, it was brought in from Winston-Salem, North Carolina for repair the customer was reporting that there was bubbling um, or, or that the reservoir this is the reservoir right here was overflowing um, and I definitely experienced that uh, it is not a actual malfunction of the machine but if you fill the water up too high on this reservoir then when it starts to create the vacuum um, it will bubble back uh, so so this doesn't have a defect but but anyways, um, so another preventative maintenance item is uh, this chamber filter. There's a chamber filter right here. Uh, it, it unscrews and then it unscrews like so. And then from there, what you would do is just hold this up to the light and make sure that you can see through it. A lot of times there's lint. And actually on this one, there was a nice big ball of lint. That This is uh, where it evacuates water from. So if that's clogged, then it, it can't suck the water out. Um, these units, they should be drained. If not in use, they should be drained uh, weekly. Uh, they, they have uh, a, fresh water, a fresh water tank here and then a waste water tank here. Um, so if you hook it up direct to drain, which I can, if you go around to the back of the unit, there's two uh, barbs here. I don't have them hooked up, but if you hook up this one with a with an elbow you can hook that direct to drain so that you'll never have to drain the reservoir also this is where it will fill from um if you don't have that option where it fills on the top which which this is a 21v it's pretty rare to see the fill from the top uh, in 17 v's and 17 uh, bravo 17 um, they fill from a, uh, a water bottle this is one of the water bottles. It's an intake pull kit. It holds about two and a half gallons. What you would do is put that up here or higher than the unit and you would plug it in back there. And then when the unit needed water, it would engage the water pump and pull it from here. Um, these things are really nice units. If you come in here a little bit more, I'll show you a couple more components, but this is the uh, boiler water pump. And then this is the, the boiler or steam generator down in here. Um, this is the filter. This is also a preventative maintenance item. This is a filter for the water pump. A lot of times what we find is that this is clogged and that is because the fresh water tank is underneath this cover. It's dark, it's damp, it's wet. It, it just breeds biofilm and bacteria. So that's why we recommend that if you're not using it, you're draining it, but a lot of times this is clogged, causing no water to get into here, and then no water to essentially run the unit. Um, so if we come around to this side, um, there is a vacuum pump. So the difference between the vacuum, or the difference between the machines, you have the 21V, which is this model, which is a longer, and then you have a 17V, which is a little bit shorter. It's, it's they got the same chamber size, they have the same door gasket, but the depth of the chamber is different. Um, they both have the same pump here. This is the vacuum pump. This should be rebuilt every 1500 uh, cycles. Uh, we can do that for you. We can, you can, you can disconnect this and send it in and we can rebuild it and test it and send it back to you. Um, the only other problem that we see with the, the only problem that we see with these things consistently 
um, is, is uh, the fuse holders will burn and go bad. Uh, that's a problem we see a lot. The door gaskets obviously prevent it from pulling a proper vacuum. Um, we, we sell these brand new, we sell them refurbished, and we will repair them. If you have any questions, give our tech support line a call. Uh, and have a great day.